Now to Earth Hour and a look at how much energy we saved as communities from coast to coast and around the world participated in this climate change awareness campaign. Between 8 and 9 last night, Vancouver landmarks including City Hall, Canada Place and the Lionsgate Bridge turned off their lights. The campaign began last year in Australia by the World Wildlife Fund and this year 35 countries took part. In Toronto, Victoria native Nelly Furtado sang at a green-powered acoustic concert outside City Hall. She was named Canada's first Earth Hour ambassador. The event added some ambiance as much of the city skyline, including the CN Tower, fell dark. As for how much energy Toronto saved during Earth Hours, monitors at the city's hydro headquarters watched consumption closely throughout the hour, and officials say they bottomed out at 2,738 megawatts, a drop of 262 megawatts from the peak that afternoon of 3,000. That represents a 9% reduction. And turning our attention back here to BC, and how did we do last night? Our Jennifer Palma joins us from Vancouver this morning to answer that question. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Sophie. And uh, to help us answer that question is David Helliwell. He's with Small Energy Group, and they were measuring how well we did yesterday. So exactly how well did we do, and what is Earth Hour? What does it mean to us here in B.C.? Right. Well, overall, we did pretty well. There's, there's a big range from uh, just okay to really extraordinarily well. And I'll, I'll get to that in a sec, because we with the Small Energy Group were measuring a number of sites uh, mm -hmm. around the province. but. Uh, Earth Hour is a World Wildlife Fund initiative that was started last year in, in Sydney. And the idea is not to change the world in the one hour, but to get people thinking about things they can do to really, to really make a difference. And the WWF Canada has been the leading branch of WWF around the world to, to make Earth Hour happen in their, in their country. So how did we do here? There were three sites in BC that took part. How did they measure up? Yes, well, there were, there were hundreds or thousands of sites that, that participated in some way but there were three that were directly with the small energy group and we had our, our software collecting the information and analyzing it and uh, so at UBC they did a good job of shaving a little bit off all day so they didn't have the person power to make a big drop right at earth hour but they still saved uh, two or three percent over the wow. co over the course of the day. City Hall had took a different approach. Mayor Sullivan got, got right behind it and uh, they had people in City Hall madly turning things off uh, for earth hour and they'd also powered down on Friday. They did a 30 percent drop during during Earth Hour. And the most extreme one is is the village of Hartley Bay, which is a First Nations community near Prince Rupert. And they shut down the entire power for the whole community. And wow. they brought their 160 residents together in the longhouse and they sent back some pictures last night after the power came up because when the power was down we couldn't get the readings for, for what was going on. So it's, it's quite a range but overall there's a lot of stuff that people can do. And is there any tips you can leave us with for home and work? Just easy stuff people can do. Sure. Well there's all the natural ones of turning down lights. Uh, probably the, the biggest waster of, of electricity is heating so heating air or heating water, so being very careful about not having your hot water tanks too hot, not having your baseboard heaters on. Those are the things that suck up way more than light bulbs. And also what our business is about at the Small Energy Group is collecting energy information. And so if people just pay attention to their energy information and, and track it. Uh, that's, that's probably the best thing to know what's going on. Thank you very much. So there you go. You can help, be a, help everyone be a little bit green by just turning off your lights or turning down your water heater, as David has mentioned. Sophie, back to you. All right. Thanks for that. Jennifer Palmer reporting live in Vancouver for us this morning.